Welcome back to the vault. Okay, today we have a nearly half hour episode. We're going to do multiple quests, but let's start it off with headshots, which was, of course, the quest that we were heading to at the tail end of the last episode. Okay, let's see what's what as we head into the first room. Okay, so we've got some ratty, ratty, rad roaches. Let's get them killed. Okay, dead, 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 dead. Any corpses? No. Okay, we've got some radar armor and some caps. Into the next room we go. And this time we've got mole rats. Okay, dead, dead. Come on. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. And we've got a corpse. Ooh, it's got some robes. Okay. Into the lift we go and down to the next floor. Ah, it's a weird layout. Okay, so we've got to go down cross down then up then back down again to the ground floor well minus three floor okay more rad roaches nice and easy to kill okay dead 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 and we got a corpse oh laser pistol nice seven damage and some caps and an alarm clock okay so six to eight or seven so nope we will keep the uh, shotgun for now Let's hope we can actually find some better weaponry. Okay, no bad guys in here, just two shinies. A scoped 4-4, more commonly known as a semi-waste of time as a weapon. Okay, down to the next floor we go. And across we go. Ah, I was about to say nothing in here, but no, we have. We've got rad roaches. Let's get them killed. Dead, dead, dead. Nice and easy to kill. And we've got a corpse that's got a desk fan inside it. Not going to ask how, but it was inside its corpse. And a magnifying glass. Okay, through to the next room. Actually, there are not a lot of enemies on this quest. And more shiny. Okay, a stim pack, some more caps. And some more caps. Not anything to write home about yet. We got 499. I only start getting excited when we get over a thousand. Okay, into the next room. Oh, it's a big room. Okay. And... Mole rats. Let's get them killed. Dead, 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 dead. There were actually four of them. I didn't even notice that, but no corpses. Okay, some wasteland gear. And a lab coat. Okay, up to the next floor we go. In this little section of the uh, quest. And let's see what's in here. Okay. Normal rats. That's fine. You can die instantly. Dead, dead. Nearly dead. And dead. Okay, we've got a corpse. It's got a stim pack. Two radaways. Hate this place. <laughs> I'm sure you do. But you need to quest for our vault. Also, to everybody that has commented on the previous episodes to be dwellers in the vault, so potential vault dwellers, I have around 20 names on my potential vault dweller list. Okay, so you're new, new kid on the block. We don't mind some friendly competition. If you're so great, then why is your vault infested with vermin? That's because everyone's in the wasteland. Yeah, yeah, okay. You need to beat, beat Vault 404. Good for you. But uh, yes, as I was saying, we have over, over nearly 20 people uh, wanting to be into the vault. So I am going to have to work out a process similar to a lottery uh, for you guys actually being in the vault, as there are so many of you. But don't worry, I will work out a fair process. I will allocate everybody numbers and then use a random number generator to decide who gets to go into the vault. Okay, dead, dead, dead. And a corpse. It's another shotgun. And some more caps. Come on, anything in here? We've got some more rad roaches to kill. Okay. Dead, dead, dead. Any corpses? No. A baseball glove. Final room. Are we going to get any more caps? The computer says no. Okay, not bad for a quest. Uh, fairly small-ish. Uh, we've managed to clear everything out, uh, so just have a quick look at our dwellers. Okay, we've got 14 stim packs, so they're not actually overly heavily injured, but uh, we can give them a stim pack anyway. 
and uh, the damage of the weapons that we've picked up, not better than what we already have, uh, so that is all fine. Let's head back to the vault. 1,435 caps. Nice. Okay, collect some resources. And we will also do a bit of vault expansion over the course of this episode. Now, as you can see, the Vault 33 quests have still not appeared. Uh, so that is something we will need to deal with. Let's watch an advert. Okay, so we've got some more caps. Lovely. Okay, let's level you up. Wasteland gear, level up, and put you back into your Vault 33 suit. Okie dokie. Moving forwards, uh, these guys are of course now coming back to the vault. And let's have a look at our objectives. Collect 10 outfits, perform 3 critical hits, and level up in the wasteland. Okay, we've got another dweller here who also needs to level up. So bespoke attire, level up, back into your combat gear. Okay. I think that's pretty much it for this play session, and we will now skip on towards another play session. So this was a nice short one. Oh, no, we've got somebody else to level up before we go. So again, bespoke attire, level up, and put back into the outfit that they were wearing. Wasteland Medic. And that's it. We can now head on to play session number two after collecting that food. There we go. Okay, so next play session. Collect another day has gone by. We've got slightly less caps this time because our happiness was apparently slightly lower. And we cannot collect our items because we don't have enough storage space. Okay, well, what we can do is we can level up our storage room and turn it into a depot. Uh, so we've leveled it up. We can now collect our items and we've already collected six out of ten outfits for that next objective. Good stuff. And we also picked up an armoured vault suit, so we can put that in the perception room. And I think we may have got some agility wear in the form of raider armour. So, yep, perception one, agility two. So that can go on uh, the dweller as well. Did we get one or two? Nope, just got one. Okay. We also, of course, have a lab coat. Uh, but we can put some fancy formal wear on, because that gives a nice big boost to luck. The more luck that there is in any of your production rooms, the more chance you have of getting free caps uh, when you collect the resources. Right, you go up in there for the strength room, and I think you're strength as well. Yes, you are. In you go there. Strength nine. Fantastic. Let's watch an advert. Ooh, lunchbox. Nice. I think we'll have to open that, of course, and let's see what we get. Okay, a teddy bear, a stim pack, a hundred caps, some mercenary gear, and 500 caps. Okay, could have done with some weapons or anything else, but no, that's fine. It is what it is. Okay, again, collect all of our resources. Now, both of these guys need leveling up, so the spoke attire back into a vault suit because we don't have anything that gives strength, uh, so that's fine. Uh, yep, we need to put you into your vault suit, I said. There we go. And again, bespoke attire, level up, and put back into the military fatigues. There we go. Oh, Raider attack. Oh, that's handy. We, of course, have our quest squad in the vault this time. So up you go. And uh, yeah, let's send you as well. I know it's only a shotgun that you've got, but the minigun and the shotgun combination should get all of those Raiders killed. Uh, before they leave the vault door. Okay, just waiting for them to bust in. There we go, didn't take them very long. And now we can start killing them. Okay, one dead already. That didn't take very long. Come on. Two dead. Come on, number three should die momentarily. And three dead, there we go. Thanks to the wonderful firepower of the Lead Belcher. Okay, some formal wear. And, of course, some caps from the remaining two corpses. There we go. Lovely stuff. And we are up to 8,942 caps in our vault, which is great. 
uh, gives us uh, lots of uh, capacity to expand the vault. Now let's have a look across the quests again, scrolling all the way around. Again, that Vault 33 quest line still not there. Uh, so we are now on um, third quest, uh, a map to the stars, and also I think the second or third quest in the third line as well. Uh, so again, it is taking its sweet time to appear. Now, I know you guys have commented under with similar comments as to where is it. It does appear. Uh, my own thoughts are that it is you need three people who are level 10, and as you can see, 11, 8, and 6. Oh, Mysterious Stranger. Let's go watch an advert, and boom, a thousand caps. Nice. 9,947. We've got nearly 10,000 caps now. That's fairly epic. We haven't even looked at the bottle and cappy quest run yet, of course. Uh, which is another one that is essential to do for your vault because then occasionally Bottle and Cappy will come and visit your vault and if you click on Bottle when he does a little dance uh, you can potentially get Nuka-Cola Quantums. Now on mobile it's not as essential as it is on the Steam version of the game because of course on the Steam version of the game you don't get adverts and you don't get any opportunities for boosts. Now what we're doing is we're getting these guys to dance uh, so we should have some charisma wear lying around. So an initiate robe for you. Let's take off the sleazy out of the tire and put you in a lab coat. There we go. And now you can wear the sleazy attire. And now you've both got some decent charisma. So, right. They should be chatting each other up. I find myself completely drawn to you. Okay. Nice stuff. So, need to leave those two, giving the cheesy pickup lines to each other for a while, and hopefully they will start dancing, and then we will have another pregnant dweller uh, to increase our population. Because uh, we're also kind of semi, not rushing, rushing, but uh, ideally we want to get to a population of 35, because at 35 dwellers you unlock the endurance room, which is the most important training room. So having a look here, next is the weapon workshop, then the weights room uh, for 24 dwellers and if you scroll across you can look so the armory is 28 the classroom is 30 uh, the outfit workshop is 32 but the fitness room which is what we want for endurance is 35 dwellers so that is the important training room and then later on you get the lounge uh, which is for charisma and you get the games room which is for luck so you get different training rooms for each of the specials and that's when we can start training uber dwellers so dwellers that have max specials and can then go to any room um, and be happy as larry as well as if you put the right outfit on them so obviously perception uh, for water strength for power and agility for food and then intelligence for either the stim packs or radaways Okay, those two are still chatting away to each other. Uh, they're taking their sweet time. I thought with those little charisma boosts it would have been a little bit quicker, but clearly not. That's not a problem. Uh, we, of course, have our rooms generating resources. And opposite the, where the power room is now, the single power room, is where I will put my science lab. And then I will put in another elevator. And underneath that I will build another storage room. So that is the overall plan. Now radio studio goes up here at the top. Uh, so we're adding a radio studio. Uh, don't have any charisma based dwellers yet, um, but that's fine. If we go to charisma, you can see uh, that we don't really have anyone with decent charisma um, at all. Uh, everyone has low charisma. So yeah, not great, um, but it is what it is because the radio station needs uh, charisma to draw um, dwellers in from the wasteland. Right, these two are still uh, chatting away to each other. Uh, that's actually a little pop-pop gun. We could maybe improve the weapon that she's carrying, uh, but that's fine. Oh, and we've got another raider attack. Okay, well, we need to get some people up into that vault room door, of course. So off you go, and off you go. Right, power of food, ready to collect, and you are ready to level up. So, let's get you leveled up while the raiders are breaking in. There we go, back into the country girl outfit, which is strength plus four. 
Okay, so we've got our minigun and our shotgun, of course. So we killed all three last time. Let's see if we can get them killed before they leave the room again. Okay, we've got one dead. Come on. Two dead. Just time for the third to go, and our uh, two dwellers are just going off to make happy. So lots of smiley faces and a new pregnant dweller. Okay, there we go. Let's give these guys stim packs. They've lost quite a bit of health. And collect the corpses. A 3-2 pistol. Okay. And some caps. Right, they'll go back to their room. Lovely stuff. And if we go down, we can see that we have uh, the pregnant dweller there. Just down to the left as I was scrolling across. Okay, let's give some weapons out. Rusty laser pistol for you. Rusty sawn off shotgun for you. Uh, scoped 4-4 for you. Uh, you've got the trank gun. And you've got a 10mm pistol. That's good. Let's put you into bespoke attire. Level you up. Put you back into your robes. And again, you'll see I'm clicking near the feet while zoomed in. Because uh, that was another question that was asked about uh, clicking on the dwellers without leveling them up. Uh, so as long as you click towards the bottom or tap towards the bottom of the dweller they won't level up which will let you then change the outfit level them up and put them back into what they were wearing okay there we go right good stuff i think we're probably going to be ready for another quest uh, yep we've just got to deal with the uh, pregnant dweller of course so let's put you back into your military fatigue sir put you back into the power plant and uh, she can go up to charisma so she's got Charisma 4, she can go into the radio room. More importantly, if there's an instant that gets that far, she'll just scream and run out of the room, which is fine. So she won't get harmed, she'll run to the uh, living quarters. So pregnant dwellers, if there is an incident that enters their room, they will run to the living quarters, as long as there is no instant also in the living quarters, screaming as they go. Right, another Dweller to level up. So again, Wasteland gear, level up, and put them back into the outfit that they were wearing. In this case, a soldier's uniform. Okay. As you can see, a lot of this early part of the game is a lot of what I call vault maintenance, uh, which is something uh, you do have to do regularly. Um, and is, I, I mean, I love this game. I've been playing it for over eight years. Uh, it came out in 2015, of course, with this latest mobile update. Oh, Mysterious Stranger, where is he? I can't see him. I literally cannot see Ah, oh, there he is, over on the power platform. Ah, oh, just missed him. That's the other thing, he doesn't stick around for very long either. You have to be really quick to find him and click on him to get your free caps. Uh, although, of course, we have got 9,600, so we're not doing too badly for caps at all. And it will be time to uh, send our guys out on a quest soon as well. So second quest of the video. Again, trying to move towards getting unlocked the Vault 33 content. And as I said, I do think it is based on a period of time after you have three dwellers at level 10. So I would suggest if you do a quest and you get your quest squad up to level 10 and above for all of them, uh, give it a little bit of a break. Uh, so log out, come back and then uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, you should have um, the new quest line available to you. So let's put him in mercenary gear. Uh, again, let's uh, put you in endurance wear, level you up, put you back into your soldier's uniform. There we go. And I think at this point, uh, we're fairly good to start our next quest. Uh, do we have an outfit for you? Yes, we do. We forgot to put it back on. That was the advanced jumpsuit. There we go. And quest. Uh, we might as well start uh, at some point the springtime for Atom quest line as well, if it stays there. It's a challenging quest line, and you do need good weapons and strong dwellers. Uh, but later on in the series, we will give it a blast. Now we have a thirst for adventure. Uh, so the path of Paula Plumkin. And the other quest line that we have, of course, is this map to the stars. Uh, so again, we'll take our quest squad, already loaded up with weapons, and then you want to give 12 stim packs, 
and ideally six or 12 radaways, but of course we don't have a science lab yet, so we're not making radaways. Okay, talk to the overseer of Vault 404. Let's go. So this was the vault that was mentioned in the previous uh, quest. And again, we're back in a vault. You'll notice, of course, these vaults look very different to our vault. Uh, they look like semi-abandoned, and most of the rooms look dilapidated and falling apart in comparison to our vault. Uh, not going to complain. It just makes our vault the best in the wasteland. Haha. <laughs> oh, we have a boss. Okay, luckily the Gatling gun is focused. What you can do is click on one of your other dwellers. Oh, click on the target, or tap on the target, and they will change target and focus on the target that you select. So every time you are in a, in a combat situation on a quest, if there is a powerful enemy, you can get your entire team to focus on that enemy. Oh, Mayor's outfit and a trifold flag. And what was that? Three caps? Oh, three stim packs. Nice. So, mayor outfit. There we go. Charisma 2, intelligence 2, luck 1. Okay, we got more raiders. In fact, we got four raiders in this room. Wow. Okay. Okay, so dead. Dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. And finally, last but not least, come on, let's kill the fourth one. There we go. All four raiders dead. Now it's time for some corpse harvesting. Mmm, my favourite part. Okay, a load of caps, some leather armour, and some cotton yarn. Okay, down we go to the next level of this vault. Actually, how far down does it go? Okay, so we've got three more floors to go. Okay, thank heavens you saved us from those filthy raiders. We did everything we could, but they found us and brought us. I've never seen anything like it. The Overseer, she's dead. She led the defence and was the first to be cut down. Well, there we go. So, do you know who's publishing the bugle? No idea. I was just a worker in the diner. Maybe the Overseer of uh, 120 will know. Okay, so we've been sent off to another vault. We've got two no nuclear color quantums. Ooh, Ripper. Oh, it's an enhanced Ripper. Nice. So this is going to be pretty much insta-kill uh, for enemies that we come across. If he cuts, of course. Wait for it. Come on. Use your weapon, dude. There we go. Look at that. 99% health taken out in one go. The Ripper is a good weapon. And, of course, those of you that have watched uh, the Fallout TV series uh, will know what that Ripper is based on. Let's just say it's something that Lucy uses in one of the episodes, without going into any detail. So I will not put any spoilers on this series, uh, just in case, because you never know if people have or have not watched the series yet. Okay, some lovely caps. What else we got? Some more caps. And finally, ooh, a Radaway. Okay. Oh, actually, there's another level. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there was actually another level. I thought there was only three down. Okay, we've got some more raiders. Look at that, insta-kill. And now he's just running around, waving the uh, ripper above his head. It's brilliant. Gotta love melee weapons. Melee. Sorry. Shouldn't say melee. It's melee. Is the correct way to say it. Right, okay, next room. And we've got some more raiders. Three more raiders to slice and dice. Oh, you hear that? You heard it. And look at the health of that uh, raider. Nearly dead in one blow. And dead. Just cut straight through her. There we go. Dead, dead, dead. Time to do the corpse harvesting process. It's all about the loot. That's right. It certainly is, Sam. Let's uh, give you a stim pack because your health is actually quite low. Right, next room. And we've got three more raiders. Let's uh, cut them up and shoot them down. Dead, dead, and nearly dead. Dead. Okay, what have we got? Anything nice? Okay. Absolute mountain of caps this time. Nice. 2,591 caps. Mmm, tasty. 
down to the final floor of this vault. Let's see if we can uh, find anything else nice. Okay, we've got a shiny, it's a toy car. Okay, what's in the next room? Come on, give me something nice. Okay, we've got three more raiders. Well, we'll get those killed. Insta-kill, nice. Didn't even get the sound effect for the uh, ripper firing up there. It was just plonk dead. <laughs> okay, we've got some more caps. And we've got a pointless gun. And some more caps. And even more. Okay, next room. Just some shiny. Okay, let's move the camera a bit so we can see. There we go. Oh, come on. Over 3,000. Yes, we are going to get over 3,000 caps. Mm. Okay, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Come on. Bring it on. Come on. Yes, there it is. 3,151 caps. Nice. Okay, we've got an Endurance 2 outfit there, so we can level you up. Lovely stuff. Put you back into what you were wearing, or maybe give you leather armor, actually, instead of Raider, which is Strength 1, Endurance 2, or Perception 1, Agility 2. Uh, let's go stick with the Agility. Okay, that's it. We have cleared out the entire vault. There is nothing else there, so it's time to send our team home after we stim pack them up, because we've got lots of stim packs there, and send them back to the vault. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All it leaves me to say is good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and from me, Know It All Gaming, good night. And if you're not subscribed, why not?